You know, you just had one very specific set of instructions to follow. Really just one instruction. Do not eat Lewis. How is he supposed to know that? No, no, oh, no. He fucked up, man. Who does that anyway, going around eating other people's shit? Especially a, a nice, thoughtful birthday gift like that, too. I mean, I wasn't raised like that. Was you raised like that? No, baby, no. No, probably not. No, I was not. No, because you're a very polite person. Thank you, baby. Who cares about other people's feelings and shit. Yeah. What's that? What's that there? Cupcake? That. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you bring those? What are you talking it's about? It's a goddamn murder weapon, Lucy. Exactly. I couldn't leave them at the crime scene. Have you not seen Law & Order SVU? Why don't you throw them away? Why don't you throw them away in the trash can? Like we, a normal person. I have dogs, baby. We Fuck don't want our dogs. dogs eating the Fuck poison. Fuck those dogs. Baby, don't say that. Marshall would save your life. Fuck Marshall, you have you little bitch. Don't do that, baby. God damn it. We really don't like it when you talk about Marshall like that, baby. They're not even your dog. That must be Randy. Oh. Hey, Randy. Hi. Look at that. I think something's wrong with him. No. Why couldn't this big old bastard just stash a key somewhere? Nah. So the house is from the 1940s. Um, right after the lighthouse got done, I will warn you, that is well water. It is going to smell and taste weird at first, but you'll get used to it. So the story of this house is as men returning from World War II out of Europe, hardened by the horrors of war, said, you know, to hell with the GI Bill. I'm going to get a job, I'm going to make some money, and I'm going to buy some land. And that's what they did. Mm -hmm. They didn't stop there. No, these honorable men, they said, we got the land, let's build a house, let's do something. And so my granddad and his good buddies got together, and these men, these honorable men, they built this house, and they built it with their own bare hands, and uh, they built it well. So, welcome. Mm. That's uh, very interesting, sir. We're happy to be here. I'm glad you are, too. Um, what brings you to Gibson Cove? You know, Vacation. Just getting out of town. Spending time with each together. Other, from, with each other. Away from the bullshit. Closeness. Mm -hmm. That is heartwarming. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I should just leave you to it, then. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. That'd be great. Thank you. But, uh, you didn't tell me you were going to be partying. Excuse me? <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm talking about those delicious looking baked goods. Are those homemade? Yeah. They're homemade. They're homemade. I made them. Yeah, we don't go to the store and buy them from the store. Look, I didn't mean any offense. It just looks so pretty well put together. I just had to ask. Um, where do you keep the boat key? They're kept on the wall right there, where they're always at. Tight. Thank you. Still warm outside. Today would be a great day to hit the water. I think we should say a few words on his behalf. Well, like in his memory or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, sure. OK. <clears throat> yeah. Lewis, uh, from what I hear, you are a pretty uh, cool dude. And uh, it's really shitty that you had to go out like this. With all that said, um, you really shouldn't go around eating other people's food, you know? It's just not right, morally speaking. And, you know, when you live your life in that way, sometimes tragedies like these may occur. Man, damn it, Paul. We're going to say a few nice things and move on. I know. Lucy, that's what I'm doing. Just, you know, offering some constructive criticism to the man. Constructive criticism? He's fucking dead, baby. Exactly. He's dead. And I'm not going to stand here and blow smoke up a dead man's asshole. Okay. You know? He was not an honorable man. Did you bring the cupcakes, at least? No. Of course not. That's all we have. Jeff is still out there. Well, what are we supposed to do? Just hope that he strolls in the house and picks one up and eats it for himself? We don't have a gun. We don't have a knife. But those cupcakes are the only thing we have for protection. And I'll be damned if we just throw them out in this lake. Fuck. I know. You know, it just really pisses me off. I know, baby. Slimy little fucker. You fucked us, Lewis. You really fucked us. 
We had a great plan. We did, baby. We had, we had a great, great plan. plan. And he'd have just come in here and fuck it. Oh, no. By eating something that wasn't his to eat. You fucked us, Lewis! Oh, no, baby. You see what happens when you go and eat some shit that's not even fucking yours? Why do you have to go and do some stupid shit like that, Lewis? Put a note on we it. Put a note on it and everything. Fuck! Better out than in, baby. Fuck you! Fuck! You know, baby, I don't really think we should be murderers anymore. I don't think it suits us. Yeah. I think that train has sailed, baby doll. Doesn't have to be that way, though, baby. We can tear us out of this shit county and never look back. Clean slate, you know? Clean slate? Yeah. I mean, we could try. We don't always be looking over our shoulder. Yeah. For your crazy boyfriend. Well, you know he'll kill us if he gets the chance. He'd probably kill Marshall, too. His own dog. Unlocked. Wow. Just wow. Hey guys, I don't mean to interrupt. I left you a series of messages about a rather important matter, I might add. You leave me no other option. Time for a pop-in. Jesus Christ! Jeff? So I gather you're leaving me. Jeff, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Are you, are you okay? How long you been standing there like a fucking psycho? Long enough. Long enough to confirm my suspicions. Oh my God. Look, I know, okay? I've known for quite a bit, honestly. I've been, I've been fairly certain, actually. And you know what? What? <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> what? You're cool with it? Hey, lovebirds. I don't mean to intrude, but there's been a guy at the office asking a bunch of weird questions. Left you a bunch of messages. Should check your phone more often. I never thought I'd say that to a couple millennials. <sighs> Already out hitting it. Hmm. Jeff. If you're so cool with it, then why'd you track us down out here? Yeah, I think a text message would have been sufficient. Well, you, Jeff, I don't think that. I mean, we've been together since we were 19. I don't even recognize that person that I was. I'm sure you feel somewhat the same. But Lucy, we haven't even made love in a year. Yeah. I mean, we've grown apart. We've grown too comfortable to admit it. You can't stop time, Lucy, and that's okay. Jeff. No, I, no. 
You don't have to say anything. I don't want you to say anything. It's really okay. It's really okay. I also brought some of your stuff. It's just like little stuff, furniture and knickknacks. You brought the furniture here? What's that? You brought it here? Yeah. Furniture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so we wouldn't have that awkward, like, down the road kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't want any of that. Don't want that. But you want to give me a hand? You want me to give you a hand? Yeah, let's just take a quick walk. Well, hello, my delicious goodness. Jeff, yada, 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 Lewis. Well, there's no Lewis here. Mm. 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 I love you too, Lucy. I appreciate your help with all this, friend. You know, I know that closure can be very liberating. Yeah, uh, happy to help. I'm a pretty liberal guy, I guess. You know what? I really appreciate your sense of humor <laughs> through all this. Yeah. I think you're a great guy. You know, Jeff, I think um, I think you really are something else, you know? What in the... They're queers. can't be buddies, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? I wish I were sticking around, you know, I wish we could grab out back sometime, but uh, I'm, you know, skipping town. <laughs> oh God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Balance. I'm gonna just yeah. start over. Clean slate. Tabula rosa. Tabula ro rosa. Yeah. The fuck is so, that, Jeff? It doesn't matter. Are you just making shit up? It's Latin. Why are you speaking Latin to me right now? Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do, really. I'm probably just pursue a career in dramatic writing. I think that's my real passion. Mm hmm in the crime genre specifically. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm interested in the psychology. That is interesting. Um, so, once I tell my roommate Lewis, then I'm out of here, man. Oh, uh. New start for me. Hey, forget about Lewis, man. Fuck Lewis. Okay. <laughs> Random. <laughs>
Oh, I think you'd make a really good uh, true crime writer. Jeff? That's interesting that you say that. Because I'm actually going to be doing fiction. Oh. True wow. crime is about crimes that actually happened. It's all the same to me, my man. Man, I yeah. would just, I'd love to pick your brain. <clears throat> I, I just, I would love to play with your mind. Come on, let's get some of this shit. Okay. Tabula Rosa. Well, I gotta say, Luz, I don't know how you live with someone that fucking weird for that long. You know, I'm just saying, he gave me the heebie-jeebies. I didn't know if he was gonna kiss me or kill my ass. Shut the fuck up, Paul. What's your problem? We did it. And I think things went pretty well, all things considered. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> no, it's, it's not your fault. Sure. It's not, no. It's not your fault, baby, no. No. You know, I'd even go so far as to say, it's this guy's fault. He had more than one cupcake, too. I'm gonna miss you, Cupcake, and all your delicious baked goods. Government truck crashed it in.